Hello, I'm Jane and welcome back to Odd Odyssey. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we're going to do part two of our village tour and I'm up here at a mystery building that I will explain more about later. But for now, let's get going. I just thought we'd start with a nice flyover at night just to show the layout of the village again. And seeing as it's night already, because I took too long on the intro, it's time to go to sleep pretty soon. So like I said today, it's going to be a little tour, I'll show you some more things around the village, tease a few things that you'll get to see in future episodes, and generally have a quite nice time. I'm making these Minecraft videos just for a bit of fun, but I don't know, let's see what else happens. Sleep time. So we're going to just pass through this portal to get through to the next area. Oop, a lead. So this is one of the first things that I built in this world. I was working in my own world for a while before um, coming to this Realms of Miz and made this lovely stable using Deep Slate and Tuft. I've got three horses in here. None of them have names, so if anyone wants to suggest any, please let us know. Pop some armour on them so they look quite smart. And then here we keep any spare horse related items. And then here we've got another cartographer. I think he might want to be one of the original guys. I don't think he's been killed before. So maybe that's a slightly safer area of the village. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, what's that guy doing there? Let's just quickly get rid of this spider and then we can continue on our way. So yeah, I'm still quite proud of that stable. I think it turned out well. Over here we have another building that I made and a mystery staircase, which we will explain more about in a future episode. For now, let's have a look at this little bakery slash cafe that I made. I tried to do like a pastel theme and as with the restaurant it did have lots of barrels in here instead of the chests but we had to get rid of them because it was causing us to have too many fishermen and that was not very helpful. Uh, why not pop one of these cakes on here for decoration? They do look quite cute. I like the design of the Minecraft cakes. Nom. Yeah, I don't normally use birch that much, but I think it worked quite well with this pastel scheme. It's a good wood for that. Also got some cocoa beans growing there for extra supplies. And what's this? Another mystery staircase. I'll show you that in a future episode. Now, let's move on to the next thing. So over here we have got some more farms, so I will have a little look up here and show you. So we have here, all these glass cubes are flower farms, so they've got dispensers in here. They normally have bone meal in, you just ping that lever and you get extra flowers, which obviously great decoration but also really useful for making dyes. And here we've got one cube for each colour. And then next to it, our lovely tree farm, where we have every variety of tree in the game. Um, except for this one right now. We do have the supplies, it's just a bit annoying making the mycelium ground for them. We even got some dark oaks. That took us a while to find in this world. There wasn't any nearby, so we had to go on quite an adventure. And likewise for the new mangrove trees. We had to go far, far away for these, but I'm really glad we got them. They're really beautiful. I'd like to build something with them but I don't know what yet. Up here we get a lovely view. Over there's my starter house of this world, which I'll show you in the next episode. And over there we have our map room, which I'll show you shortly. And if we climb up these vines, we can have a lovely overview of the village from over here as well. So this is another area that I've built, which I will show you in a future episode. I don't want to do too many spoilers. There's another building there that I built. And yeah, it's just a nice viewpoint up here. So yeah, uh, if you made it this far, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, if you feel like it, I'd really appreciate a like and subscribe or a comment. All of those things really help YouTube makers. So they're there if you feel like it. Whee! Oh no! Oh no, Eva 
when uh, experienced Minecraft players make mistakes, so I won't feel too bad about that crash landing. It could definitely have been worse. So down here is the underside of the tree farm, so this is where all the parts go that fall off the trees. Obviously whilst you're cutting down trees with an axe you do tend to collect a lot of the logs in the process. Anything else that falls to the ground gets picked up here by this excessively large minecart system. Um, this was one of the first farms that was built in this village as well. This is one of Miz's projects and we definitely had a few uh, ex creeper explosions and mistakes and difficulties with it but now it's working just fine and it runs all the time but you could obviously pop a lever somewhere in here and have it just turned on when you're working on the farm. But there you go, a tree farm. Um, this is one of the first staircases that I made in the village so we'll go up there in the next episode. This is something else I built more recently but you'll have to keep watching to find out what's going on there. Have a little stroll down here and show you some more of the trees and also the bottom of another staircase that I created here with the lovely purple chorus fruit plants which are very useful um, but yeah that's not for this episode either you'll have to keep watching to find out what's up all these staircases today we are going to go up a staircase though we're going to go up this one here so this is some of the earlier stuff that we built. This is one of my builds here and as you can tell we had some fun time getting uh, prismarine items to do this and we've been slowly building up this big map of our land. Um, for some reason the map's got these black areas on at the moment I think we just need to fly out to the respective areas to fix them, but if anyone knows why that happened, I would love to know. Yeah, I really like all the greenery in here and uh, candlelight, it's really pretty. Um, but yes, quite an expensive build because we had to go fight guardians in an ocean temple and that was pretty stressful. And in here is my amethyst room. Love the sound, love these little windows. I think they're just the right size to shoot out of. And we have here a trapdoor and a bubble column, more amethyst on the ceiling. If we pop this open, we can go down here and see what else there is. Whee! So, yeah, we only found this quite recently, but it turned out we had a geode right underneath our starter home, which was pretty lucky. So decided to make a bit of an amethyst farm here. We never had one before and we'd seen it on um, LD Shadow Lady's um, video on empires and got a bit inspired. It's not totally finished decor right wise but we do get a lot of amethyst in here which is obviously really nice and a satisfying noise. I'll let you enjoy the little twinkles of amethyst mining. Uh, one of the problems of having a good pickaxe is that it's really easy to break other blocks behind what you're mining, so maybe get a less good one for some of this stuff. It really is one of the most satisfying things to mine. And there you have it, I got four stacks of amethyst shards. Well, almost four stacks in just that short amount of time. Obviously with a good pickaxe, but um, it's really nice and just keeps growing. We've just got this bubble column to get back and now we can add this amethyst to our hall. The original plan with all these crates in here, these chests was to fill them all with their respective item. I don't know how long that will take, um, but we'll keep trying. Just do a bit of tidy up of my inventory whilst I'm here. Um, yes, there is a lot of beds in there. There's a reason why. <laughs> I'll explain that later too. So off we go to something else new to see. 
Hello, cats. Nobody's named you yet. Sorry. So if we take another bubble column up, we can go to where we started the episode. And this is one of Mrs. Build's. This is our first um, big library. Has a great view from up here, as you've already seen. You can really see quite far. And I really like seeing all the different colours and roofs that we've built. So let's find out what's inside here. A lot, a lot of librarians. And yeah, we have some good books in here, like mending and efficiency. And there's lots of guys that sell lanterns, which is really helpful because we use those a lot. We could probably do with uh, working on this building a bit more. It's kind of been left because it's such an ordeal getting the guys to come up here. Um, we have Dilbert here who is our first zombie villager cured in this area and we'll show you more about how we did that in a later episode something that Miz was experimenting with that's in the basement of this building unfortunately he doesn't have very good traits but the curing worked so yeah got a few good things up here and a bit empty so yeah it would be really nice to come up here add some more villagers maybe do some decor maybe make it feel more cosy feels a little bit prison like right now a prison with beautiful colored glass windows <laughs> they do have great views but they cannot see it um this is the original library that we had so this is something that Ms. built and there is a bunch of librarians still living in here excuse me oh rude um so yeah, it's very pretty in here it's got the colored glass got lots of bookcases got this little balcony bed area and some of these villagers have good trades so we just don't use them as much because they're down here like I said we should probably move them up to that top library at some point but it is pretty stressful transporting villagers as I'm sure many of you are aware and here's another thing that I teased in the first episode so this is another build that I did and this is our sheep farm and this build was inspired by wattles so I will link below to any of the videos I've mentioned in here um, it's very simple they've got dispensers behind them with shears in them and whenever they grow wool they get automatically sheared and then it goes down here with this random fisherman who lives here now <laughs> he does sell string though and we have this minecart that goes round and it just drops everything off into these chests. So uh, yeah, we have a lot of coloured wool of every colour. Um, some of them I know what I'll use them for, but others I have no clue. So if anyone has any requests for things to build with wool, um, yeah, send them my way and I'll, I'll do a challenge. I'll, I'll make something on request, I don't know. Uh, yeah, more beds there because you can never have enough villagers. <laughs> So yeah, I like this. I still like it. It's cute. Uh, we had to put trapdoors though on some of them because they were getting killed. Um, and yeah, next door here, the chicken shop. Yeah, chicken shop, obviously. Uh, couldn't resist. We had so many chickens from our chicken farm that I thought it deserved its own dedicated area. Um, and it's too scary to go outside now, so sleep. Off we go, back through the village. So if you haven't watched the first episode, pop over, have a watch, let me know what you think. You can learn more about what all these houses are here. Um, I'm still learning how to make these videos. So I'm sure you'll see some uh, experimentation with camera angles and viewpoints as I get more confident. But I do really want to say thank you to Miz for encouraging me to do this. I've been watching YouTube videos of other Minecrafters for so long and enjoying playing the game so much. Um, I didn't really think I would get to this stage and um, yeah, Miz, thank you. You've really helped encourage me. And yeah, that wraps up this episode. We'll leave it off where we started at the beautiful glass balcony here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like, please subscribe, please leave us a comment. It really helps. And yeah, we'll see you next time for another survival Minecraft episode of Odd Odyssey.
Take it easy. Thank you.